<laughs> what drives the fascination with Alice's adventures in Wonderland? Leave your answers in the comments section. We don't know, but we like comments. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is an 1865 novel by Charles Dodgson under the pen name Lewis Carroll, and you'd be hard-pressed to find someone who isn't familiar with the 1951 animated picture, radio play, or the live-action adaptations. Translated into 97 languages, and famed for never being out of print, Alice in Wonderland has enjoyed popularity among adults as well as children, and is considered the best example of nonsense literature. Lewis Carroll also wrote Through the Looking Glass, the sequel to Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and poems such as The Jabberwocky, another piece of nonsense literature about a creature which makes an appearance in 2010's Tim Burton-directed film. Carroll's story was first told all in the golden afternoon, an event best described as Carol out on a boat telling three young girls a story about a bored little girl who falls into a hole and winds up in Wonderland. Alice Liddell enjoyed the story so much, she asked that he write it down for her. The golden afternoon in question is said to have been a cloudy, cold, and rainy day. Carol did write it down, and illustrated it himself. Rumors speculate he destroyed the original manuscript, and delivered to Alice Liddell a more elaborate, handwritten copy with the dedication, A Christmas Gift to a Dear Child in Memory of a Summer's Day. He expanded on the plot on a second boat ride with the same three girls before approaching John Tennille to illustrate his book for publication. Carol was preparing for 1865 publication, nearly doubling the 15,000 word count to 27,500, and adding in the Mad Hatter's Tea Party and the Cheshire Cat. In 2009, Alice Liddell's copy, lacking these components, reportedly sold at auction for $115,000.